Okay, we're going to mount this on a piece of cherry. I've already marked it out, but I'll go over it. You want to make sure I have a little mark here for the water line at the stern, and a little mark here. So you just measure up the same. This happens to be three and a half inches. And this is three and a half. This is almost one and three quarters. This is one and three quarters, very close. It's always easier, especially if you're by yourself. If you can do it before you smooth it up or put any finish on it, because it won't slide so much. These things want to slide a little bit. So it's the same up at the bow, the stern, the stern there and the bow here. Now the cap boat, you know, the, it curves up a little bit, so I, I just put it where I want. It doesn't really matter. Now I've already pre-drilled the cherry plaque. So now I have to come up through the holes in the plaque into the model. Usually I just use two screws. I usually use like a two inch 10 flathead. You could use an oval head. But two inch tens of what I've always used. So, just so people know, this plaque is completely unfinished. The edge here is going to get routered. We'll show that. Well, one thing and then we it can do. Get varnished. We'll show that too. Yeah. You know, if you don't have a router or you don't want to router it, you can just take a little plane and bevel the corners. Yeah, just you could, a nice bevel. You could sand them if you wanted to, if you don't. With a block. Yes, I would use a block with coarse paper, like 80 grit. So you don't have to router it. I was almost thinking that I wasn't going to router it on this one. Oh, okay. But I might. I still have at least one more coat of white to put on, because every time I wet sand it, I cut through little places. So if you're trying to get a nice, nice, smooth, shiny finish, you have to just put on as many coats is it takes it when you sand it the final wet sand and it doesn't cut through and sometimes it can be very aggravating that's if you want to get a mirror shine finish all right so do you want me to hold it no all right i'm gonna try doing this This can be a real pain. This is not the best. And it makes a big difference if someone was holding the model. If Betsy's trying to film, so. Well, I have tried using double-sided tape to do it. I'm sure if you think about it, you can probably come up with a lot faster, better way of doing it than I have. We're going to find those other holes. What? I was just saying I'm going to bung the extra holes. Okay.
I just mark the holes. because uh, there are other holes in the back from the blocks and sometimes you can get them mixed up. Sure. Okay, we gotta put the block back on. Here's another way you can mount it. So if you had two saw horses that were higher than this, maybe 30 inch, three foot high horses, and you took long wood, right? Yeah, a couple of pieces of wood and fastened them on. You know, longer wood, something that's four or five feet wide in. You got all the room to get underneath. And it's higher, it's not so hard. So, like a couple of pieces of fence board or even two by four. But so you saw horses that far apart, and you just screw it down so you have the right size opening. That's what I do at work. Don't tell my boss. <laughs> I got pencil marks here. I always put a mark at the back of the plaque that says top. So I never get it mixed up. And it never show. So I gotta smooth this all out. Get rid of all my pencil lines. This is a fairly smooth piece of cherry. I can probably sand this with 120, 180, and 280. And as I said, you can bevel this with a little plane if you want, router it. Well, why don't we do a video with beveling and using the fest tool to clean it up and put the sealer coat well, on? Well, I could do one right now of routering it. Okay, let's do it. If you so we're going to back it up. I'll back it up when you're done. I don't misplace this one. all different types of router bits. Pick one you like. This was just a little what I call a hollowing bit. Roman OGs, I think they call them all some nice ones. Any tricks on how to I usually do a nice the... straight line and stuff? No, you got the you got the roller bearing. Okay. I uh, I do the ends first. Gotta take some paper as a little burn mark there, just smooth it up. Some people, if they get real fussy, they like to paint this groove a different color, maybe imitation gold paint or real gold leaf. I don't do that, I just leave it natural, but.
used a router very much, I would practice on some scrap wood the same thickness if you can. Just make sure on the back side, just mark top in one corner or the other on the back side. And, you, know, you can varnish right over, it doesn't matter, it's not going to show much. Uh, any kind of a mark so you know it's the back side. So the next step on this would be to, well yeah, but this, I, I did mark the back side. I put a little mark there. I'll make up some tea, uh, cherry buns and I'll bung these two holes. All right, so the next thing is the wet sand the white, tape it, and uh, put a cold of white gloss on. This is something I just bought just very recently. These little aerosol cans, I think they use them to clean computers. Oh, yeah? And especially good on the deck, you know, where you have a tow rail that gets into these little corners. Woo. Don't tell me. They don't. It's like a little mini um, air gun, like we have yeah. at work. Yeah. All right, so um, we'll try to get that coat of white on this week, maybe, after work. We can do it tomorrow. And then we'll do a video smoothing up this um, cherry plaque and putting some sealer on it too at some point. Yeah, I don't normally stain the cherry, but that's that's just me. Do you want me to vacuum your shop for no, you now? No, because I got to do it with it. My joint was. Okay. Yeah, the cherry looks better without the stain. I think it's my personal preference anyway. I wouldn't stain walnut, that looks nice the way it is. If you were ever lucky enough to get teak, I wouldn't stain it. Mahogany is the one wood that I personally think doesn't look good unless it's got some stain. Okay, cool. Well, we'll do another video this week. Sorry that we went so long without a video this time. Thanks.